Have you seen Google's new updates in Notebook LM, all of the different features? If you are not using it for your content creation or your learning platform, you are missing out. Today, we are going to cover six different areas that have been updated within Notebook LM, and we're going to apply them to real use cases. Whether you're in the teaching, the learning area, you're a student, or you are recreating content and you want to repurpose it, this is the best AI tool that you can use today. Let's get started. Here we are inside of Notebook LM, where I have uploaded three documents for a project that I'm working on for my students. And it's all about evergreen marketing strategies across different digital platforms. I did a deep dive in Gemini, in Manus, and Perplexity about evergreen marketing strategies. And I pulled them into Notebook LM because I wanted to create some content. This is one of the best things that I like to do with Notebook LM. We're going to show you six of the newest features. If you've been inside Notebook LM before, you're going to see a couple new items. You're going to see the flashcards and the quizzes. This is definitely the most dynamic change that they've made inside. This feature allows teachers to upload lesson materials and create interactive quizzes for students, or students to upload textbooks and automatically create flashcards for studying. Let's go ahead and open one up. So if you want to create flashcards, you can create it in the standard mode or you can do fewer cards or more cards. You can even change the level of difficulty here and you can focus on a specific topic for your sources. Inside the quizzes, same thing. The number of questions could be fewer or more and the level of difficulty easy or hard. Imagine having this when you're trying to study for a test as a student or as a teacher when you want to create specific quiz questions. Let's go ahead and look at a few of those things. For example, here's the flashcards here. Based on the three sources that I uploaded, you're going to see how the questions come out and how you can flip it over for the answer. And if you aren't really sure of what something means, you can click explain and the chat session will take over and answer with the citations of which content it came from. So pretty simple to go through all of these. And you've got 60 cards here. Let's take a look at the quiz. The evergreen quiz based on the three sources here. You're going to see it's going to ask 12 questions. You can see each of the questions. If you need a hint when you're taking those quizzes, it's going to give you that hint. But let's say I randomly choose one. It's going to say, no, not quite the answer. Explain why. And it's going to give you the correct answer. Okay, this is my favorite part. What I think is the best new updates that Notebook LM has made. Let's get into the reports. Inside the reports, we only used to be able to get a briefing document. Now you're going to see that you can craft reports your way, specifying the structure, the style, the tone. You still have the briefing document that they had before, but we're going to show you that when you open this up with a pencil icon, you're going to see that you have over 80 different languages that you can choose from. This is huge, especially when you are wanting to create videos or blogs or instructional guides. Another great feature is the fully customizable prompts that you can use inside of any report, allowing you to fine tune exactly how Notebook LM creates content by directing it to write in a specific style that you have or focus on certain aspects. So other reports that you're going to see inside of here are the study guides. If you want short answer quizzes, suggested essay questions, glossary of key terms, you can also do blog posts. It definitely reduces the time spent writing blog posts from hours to minutes. And again, customizable with the prompt here, Notebook LM now offers dynamic suggestions for topics and themes based on the documents that you uploaded. It analyzes the sources to suggest what kind of content you should create. So if you upload scientific papers, it might suggest doing a white paper like it did for these three topics that I did a deep dive on, or doing a strategic plan, explanatory article, or a concept overview, how different social media algorithms affect the lifespan of a post. Another great new audio overview is the brief, a bite-sized overview to help you grasp the core ideas from the sources, as well as doing a critique, an expert review of your sources, offering constructive feedback to help you improve your material. And you can have a debate forum, a thoughtful debate between two hosts. I've actually heard it do three or four hosts in one of my recent ones. You can have shorter lengths now and you can have longer. Before it was just a set, you never really knew how long your actual podcast was going to be. And then you click generate. Now, this one I was very impressed with. Welcome back to the critique. So today we're looking at a really uh, sophisticated blueprint. It's all about maximizing evergreen content ROI across different platforms. 
digging into that value versus recency algorithm thing. Yeah, and it's a strong piece of work fundamentally. I mean, the core idea, splitting content strategy based on whether a platform rewards, you know, long-term value like a blog. Now let's take a look at the audio overview that I did that was a brief one from the three sources. This is the brief on evergreen content longevity across digital platforms. So, you know, evergreen content. That's stuff that stays relevant, right? Like your classic how-to guide. So it sounds pretty good, right? Maybe you want to see what the video overview looks like. That is something that they came out with just recently. And let's play one of the videos that I've made. All right, let's talk about something that drives every content creator crazy. You spend hours, maybe even days on a piece of content. You hit publish and poof, it's gone from the feed in like a day or two. It's frustrating, right? But what if I told you there's a way to create content that keeps working for you? Not just for days, but for years. That's what we're getting into today. This is the playbook for creating evergreen content, digital assets that are built to last. Okay, let's just jump right in because these numbers tell the whole story. I mean, just look at this difference. It's absolutely wild. A solid, well-optimized blog post can have a lifespan of almost two years. Pretty good content. I actually created this specific video to place as a training video for my students inside my Amplify Your Business school community. So not bad. Another great feature is I had uploaded three separate deep dives into the evergreen content for marketing with social media. And I wanted to know which one was the most comprehensive. And as I asked chat within Notebook, because it's only going to go between these three, this is the answer that I got. The best source to learn from and understand would be the excerpts from, and it shows the one with Manus. That helps me when I'm looking at making additional content with this specific deep dive that I did. Now, another great feature that is an added bonus just for this is I wanted to show you the mind map. Let's go ahead and take a look at this one. You just can scroll in, scroll out. You got the evergreen content, the different cross-platform strategies. You've got the foundational principles here, and it's going to keep mind mapping out. Definitions, the topics of the evergreen versus content. I can keep going and I can have it all listed out, right? Make it nice and small. And then when I have everything the way I want it, I can simply just download it as a PNG. If you haven't given Notebook LM a try yet, I've gotten free PDF books online, uploaded them as a source, and made an audio overview to see if I wanted to read the book. It's a great tool to just listen to the podcast. And now with all the other features of it, it's just limitless on what you can use for your business. And the content repurposing is also limitless on what you can do with it. Being able to make a blog post and then take that, snippet that down and make videos from it and upload them to your social media as well. It's amazing what Notebook LM has done and it's simply for free. If you're a coach or solopreneur and you want to continue learning more about AI, attend my workshops that are inside of my Amplify Your Business School community. You're going to find the link in the description below. See you on the inside.